Where, are you going? If you are to die today, would you be 100% sure that you would go to heaven to spend eternity with God? Do you have doubt or assurance? Did you know? You can be 100% sure. The Bible, God's inspired word, tells us how. According to 1 John chapter 5 verses 11 to 13. And this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son, has the life. Whoever does not have the Son of God, does not have life. I write these things to you, who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. Eternal life, is not based upon religion, but upon a relationship with God's Son Jesus Christ. Did you know, heaven is a free gift? In, Romans chapter 6 verse 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. In Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 to 9, for it is by grace you have been saved, through faith. And this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not by works, so that no one can boast. Because of God's grace, eternal life is offered to you as a free gift. Did you know? Man does not deserve heaven? Man is a sinner by nature, by choice, and by practice. According to Romans chapter 5 verse 12. Therefore, just as sin entered the world through one man, who is Adam, and death through sin, and in this way death came to all people, because all sinned, because of sin, man does not deserve to go to heaven. According to Romans chapter 3 verse 23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Did you know? Sin demands a penalty. The penalty of sin is twofold. Physical death, which is the separation from man. According to Romans chapter 6 verse 23, for the wages of sin is death, second is spiritual death, which is the separation from God. According to Revelation chapter 20 verse 14, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Remember, according to Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27, and as it is appointed unto men, once to die, but after this, the judgment. Did you know, Jesus Christ paid the penalty of our sins? In 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 18, for Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. Remember. God hates sin, but loves the sinner. In Romans chapter 5 verse 8, it says, But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died, for us. Did you know? If you are trusting any of these, you cannot enter heaven? Holy communion, prayers, church membership, confession, penance, confirmation, baptism, doing good works, charity, and worshipping idols? In John chapter 14 verse 6, Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father, except through me. And according to Titus chapter 3 verse 5, he saved us, not because of the righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He washed away our sins, giving us a new birth and new life, through the Holy Spirit. Did you know, Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven? In Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12, there is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way to death. People trust in many things, but only one way leads to heaven. Matthew 7 13 to 14 says, you can enter God's kingdom only through the narrow gate. The highway to hell is broad, and its gate is wide for many who choose that way. But the gateway to life is very narrow and the road is difficult and only a few ever find it. Did you know? You must repent of your sins. In Luke chapter 13 verse 3, Jesus said, But unless you repent, you too, will all perish. Repent means, to have a sorrow for sin, to have a changed mind, and to turn from sin to God. Repentance is necessary to receive eternal life. Did you know? You must receive Jesus Christ by faith, according to the book of John chapter 1 verse 12. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. 
So, true believing is receiving. In 1 John chapter 5 verse 10, all who believe in the Son of God know in their hearts, that this testimony is true. You must not believe the facts concerning Jesus Christ, but you must receive him into your heart by faith now. Saving faith requires what we say we believe. Did you know? Jesus Christ will save you, if, if you confess in your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart, that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For the heart believes, and is justified. And with the mouth one confesses, and is saved. Pray this prayer out loud, only if you mean it in your heart. Dear Heavenly Father, I know that I am a lost sinner, that I deserve hell, and that I cannot save myself. I now repent of my sins, and believe that Jesus Christ became flesh, shed his blood, died on the cross, was buried and on the third day rose from the dead, so that my sins may be forgiven. By faith, I trust only in him, and what he has done for me on the cross is full payment for my sin's debt. And I now, ask Jesus Christ to be my Savior, my only way to heaven, and receive his free gift of eternal life. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today is your spiritual birthday. According to Romans chapter 10 verse 13. For, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Knowing that I have sinned, and I need the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior, I now turn from my sins and trust Him for my eternal life. I ask Jesus Christ to forgive me, and to deliver me from sin's power, and give me eternal life. I now give Jesus Christ control of my life. From this time forward, as He He gives me strength, I will seek to trust Him and obey him in all areas of my life. Signed today. Now, as a Christian, 1. Confess Jesus Christ publicly. 2. Obey Christ's command to be baptized. 3. Attend a Bible teaching church where you can worship God in spirit and in truth and fellowship with other Christians. Dear friend, the few minutes it will take you to read this may be the most important time you will ever spend. I grew up involved in church. I saw family and friends die and was told no one could be sure they went to heaven. After years of searching for the truth, I met someone who cared about my soul and showed me from the Holy Bible how I could receive the free gift of eternal life that comes only from Jesus Christ. Since that special day, I now have a personal relationship with him. The most wonderful person in the universe. It was the best day on my life. I am now sure if I die today, heaven is my eternal home. I hope you